Hey YouTube and Reddit, I just want to go over this video again, The God of Process, Matthew Woodward. Um, I showed this recently in my um, Exploring YouTube video, uh, but I kind of just wanted to do... It's 39 minutes long, so it's really long, but I wanted to just watch a few minutes of this and kind of give my thoughts as it's going through. Um, kind of caught me off guard last time I watched it, but... Uh, Try to keep a clearer mind while we watch it this time, and uh, I'll voice my opinion. God for the honest people. Exodus 23, 27. I will send my terror ahead of you and create panic among all the people whose lands you invade. I will make all your enemies turn and run. Somebody say, praise God for that. Verse 28. I will send terror ahead of you to drive out the Hivites, the Canaanites, and the Hittites. I think it'd be better just but to like not drive convert them out in a single year because the land would become desolate. You think it would be better to like convert people to your opinion instead of just like I don't know, running them out. But that's just my opinion. And the wild animals would multiply and they would threaten you. And so here's here's what God said I'm going to do. Verse 30, I'm going to drive them out a little at a time. So I'm going to say little by little until your population has increased enough to take possession of the land. Verse 31, my last verse, and I will fix your boundaries from the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea, and from the eastern wilderness of the Euphrates River. I will hand over to you the people now living in the land, and you will drive them out ahead of you. And I want to speak for a few minutes tonight, the God of the process. Let's pray. Jesus, God, we love you tonight. And God, we do say one more time what a privilege it is to be in your presence. And God, I pray, God, although we yeah. do this often, God, I pray that it would not be something that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. Help us to always remember that it is God a privilege to freely open your, your word, nope. word and speak about it and preach about it and teach from it freely without fear of persecution god we thank you for that yeah but you want to tonight. persecute others god we intend to exercise that right this evening i pray your word would go forth not just with cunning words of man's wisdom but god we ask that there would be a demonstration of your spirit and your power yeah. and god that you would do what only you can through your word let it not return void and empty in our lives we claim that promise tonight come on somebody just lift your voice for a moment and just pray that God would speak to you, Jesus. This is the lifting hand is thing. My mind is when I go to my wife's God, church, a lot of people do that. To us. Speak to me, Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Somebody speak the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Be seated tonight. I don't know if you've perceived this in your walk with the Lord. No. Nope. And when you read through Scripture... And just understanding the nature of God in general, I, I perceive that there are some tensions in the nature of God and the Word of God. And as Pastor Lehman would say, some of these things are not problems to be solved. They are a tension to be managed. And I'll tell you what I mean. You know, I thought for a while, I, I need to just keep writing these examples. I'm going to preach a message someday about the tensions, the balancing act of some of the attributes of God. That's not this sermon tonight. This is a different one. But, you know, um, one great example is grace and truth. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that Jesus is full of grace and truth, which on the surface, I don't know if, if you really have thought Those about green it. green dots it in the background. Like a it seems like a paradox of sorts. How can you be... Okay, I think we're done. Good, good talk. See everyone next time.